The Hairy Apes are played by Eugene O'Neill about a man who believes in a system and then the system ultimately um, humiliates him and bites him. It's a play where you're reminded that animals can own the world, that animals can be themselves in the world and it's a play where you're told that uh, human tribes have divided themselves into the privileged and the non-privileged. I, I think it's a great opportunity to see a play written by who many people think consider to be our great American playwright. Eugene O'Neill is honestly one of our greatest, greatest, greatest writers in history. And this is one of his early plays and it's not done that often. It's fantastic language. I think that's one thing that's really amazing about it. And it's got lots of kind of connections within the play that are very, very under the radar and very beautiful. It's uh, very poetic. On top of that, you have a sort of creative visionary team here um, that's really done something quite spectacular with the space. Well, you just have to see it to believe it. When the production was thought of as uh, something that was interesting for the armory, because uh, half of, a lot of the play takes place here, it takes place on the Upper East Side and very near here in Central Park Zoo. I think O'Neill liked the idea of expressionist stage directions. He describes the Upper East Siders as Frankenstein dolls who move around Yank. An analogy that came up in rehearsal was that we all pass crazy people. Um, on the street or in um, Grand Central Station shouting their heads off. Um, people just walk past them. And I think when people walk over that turntable and encounter those yellow seats, I think the ride begins and it doesn't stop for an hour and a half and I think it's really magic. I don't think people would feel they've seen a revenge tale, but it is a revenge play, but the revenge never happens.